Hello my dear students, how are you? I wish you are fine. Welcome back to our math lessons with your math teacher, Ms. Marwasi. As a last lesson, we studied multiples and we know the meaning of multiple. Today, we are going to complete this unit by studying lesson 2, divisibility. Let's start with what's the meaning of divisibility. I can say that any whole number is divisible by another whole number if the remainder of division equals zero. Again, I can say that any whole number is divisible by another whole number if the remainder of uh, division equals zero. For example, six divided two equals three and the remainder equals zero. So I can say that six is divisible by two and also divisible by three. Another one, 15 divided by three equals five and the remainder equals zero. So 15 is divisible by three and also divisible by five. Another one, 20, 24 divided by four equals six and the remainder equals zero. So 24 is divisible by four and also divisible by six. The last one, 28 divided by seven equals four and the remainder equals zero. So 28 is divisible by seven and also divisible by four. 22 divided by three equals what? I can't find 22 in the timetable of three. So what can I do? I get the nearest number to 22 in the timetable of three. Yes, 21, three times seven equals 21. And the remainder equals one. So 22 isn't divisible by three. Another one, 18 divided by four equals what? I can't find 18 in the timetable of four. So what can I do? I will get the nearest number to 18 in the timetable of four, huh? Yes, 16, four times four equals 16. And the remainder equals two. So 18 isn't divisible by four. The last one, 37 divided by six equals what? I can't find 37 in the timetable of six. So what can I do? I get the nearest number in the timetable of six to 37. Huh, what? Yes, 36. Six times six equals 36. And the remainder equals one. So 37 isn't divisible by six. Some rules of divisibility. The first rule, all the even numbers are divisible by two. All the even numbers are divisible by two. For example, 18 is an even number, so it's divisible by 2. 24 is also an even number, and it's divisible by 2. 36 is an even number, so it's divisible by 2. 112 is an even number, so it's divisible by 2. If you want to check your answer, we can do the division. Huh? Like 112 divided by 2, I know that. There are four steps for do the division. Division, multiplication, subtraction, and bring down. One divided two can't be 11 divided two equals five. Five times two equals 10. Subtraction, one minus zero, one, and bring down two. 12 divided two equals six. Six times two, 12 minus zero, zero, and the remainder equals zero. 112 divided 2 equals 56 and the remainder equals 0. So 112 is divisible by 2. 17 isn't an even number, so it's not divisible by 2. 51 isn't an even number, so isn't divisible by 2. Divisibility of 3. Huh. If I have a number formed from two digits number or more, and I want to know if it's divisible by three or not without doing the division operation, what can I do? I do as I did in multiples. I get the sum of its digits. I get the sum of its digits. And if the sum is divisible by three, then the number is also divisible by three. 54, I get the sum of its digits, five plus four equals nine. Nine is divisible by three. So 54 is also divisible by three. 123, I get the sum of its digits. One plus two plus three. One plus two, three. Three plus three equals six. And six 
divisible by 3 so 123 is also divisible by 3 525 5 plus 2 plus 5 equals 12 and 12 is divisible by 3 so 525 is also divisible by 3 124 I get the sum of these numbers number 1 plus 2 plus 4 equals 7 7 isn't divisible by 3 then 124 isn't divisible by 3 also divisibility of 4 if I want to know if a number is divisible by 4 or not what can I do I do as I did in multiples I determine the tens and ones together as 116 a number formed from three digits number so I determine the tens and ones together as 16 16 is divisible by 4 so 116 is also divisible by 4 224 a number formed from three digits number so I determine tens and units together 24 is divisible by 4 yes so 224 is also divisible by 4 332 I determine tens and units together 32 is divisible by 4 so 332 is also divisible by 4 the last one 412 12 is divisible by 4 so 412 is divisible by 4 without doing the division operation 223 if I determine the tens and units together I get 23 23 isn't divisible by 4 so 223 isn't divisible by 4 711 I determine tens and units together 11 isn't divisible by 4 so 711 isn't divisible by 4 also 115 15 isn't divisible by 4 so 115 isn't divisible by 4 divisibility of 5 as I did as I did in multiples all the numbers its units equals 0 and 5 are divisible by 5 for example 325 its unit is 5 is divisible by 5 220 its unit digits equals 0 so it's divisible by 5 160 60 its unit digits equals 0 so it's divisible by 5 552 its unit digits equals 2 so it's not divisible by 5 351 its unit digits equals 1, so it isn't divisible by 5. 446, it, uh, its digits, its unit digits equals 6, so it isn't divisible by 5. Uh, I will revise some important remarks. The first one, each whole number is divisible by 1. Each whole number is divisible by itself except 0. Why is it except 0? Because I can't divide 0 by any number. 0 is divisible by uh, any whole number except itself. Important exercise, it shows the correct answer. The number divisible by 2 and 3 is... Huh. I multiply 2 times 3 equals 6. And I will choose the number is divisible by 6 is 30. The another one, the number divisible by 2 and 5. Huh. I multiply 2 times 5 equals 10 and I will choose the number divisible by 10 which number yes 20 the last one the number divisible by 2 3 and 5 huh? 2 times 3 equals 6 6 times 5 equals 30 and I will choose the number divisible by 30 which number yes 60 at the end of our lesson thank you for following see you next time goodbye